As a video creator, I'm always looking for ways to make production faster and more efficient. Between scripting, shooting, and editing, there's never enough time. So I've been experimenting with a bunch of AI video tools to see which ones actually help and which ones just eat up your time. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of the ones that really deliver, so you don't have to go through all the trial and error that I went through. Before we dive in, let's clarify what free means when it comes to AI tools. Some are open source, meaning you can technically use them for free, but they need a strong computer or cloud setup. Some are cloud-based where you don't need hardware but pay for processing time. And others are freemium, giving you limited credits or exports each month. For this list, I'm only including tools that offer ongoing free access, even if it's limited, so you can actually test them without needing a credit card. Number one, Sora, the imagination engine. Sora is OpenAI's text-to-video model and it's been one of the most hyped tools of the year, for good reason. You can type something like a drone shot over a misty forest at sunrise, and Sora creates a short cinematic clip that looks like it came straight from a high-end camera. What makes it stand out is scene realism. It understands depth, lighting, and motion in a way that feels truly photographic. It's also pretty good at following prompts that describe abstract ideas or moods, which most AI models still struggle with. Right now, Sora is mainly useful for storyboarding and concept visualization. The clips are short, usually around 10 seconds or less, and 720p resolution in the free plan, but they're perfect for experimenting with ideas, testing camera angles, or even building mood boards for bigger projects. The downside? It's still in limited access and focused on research use, so you may not be able to generate full sequences yet. But even at this early stage, it shows where AI filmmaking is headed, and it's exciting. Number two, VO, text to video with sound. Next up is VO, a tool that's taking text to video a step further by integrating sound and dialogue directly into the generation process. You can describe not only what's happening visually, say, a presenter explaining climate change next to animated graphs, but also the tone of voice, ambient sounds, and pacing. This makes VO incredibly useful for educational content, YouTube explainers, or brand storytelling. Imagine being able to create an entire short video with visuals, sync voiceover, and background audio all from a single prompt. The strength of VO is its coherence. It connects visuals and narration in a way that feels more human and structured than most AI video generators. As with Sora, free plans are also limited to 720p. However, the recently launched version 3.1 allows generation of videos as long as one minute in some tools. Its limitation though is that rendering full scenes consumes credits quickly. So the free tier is best for testing and short snippets. But if you're looking to create dynamic talking head style videos without filming, VO is one of the most advanced options right now. Number three, Kling, the visual powerhouse. If VO is your storyteller, Kling is your cinematographer. Kling excels at visual richness. It can generate dramatic lighting, realistic depth of field, and even fine details like fabric movement or hair reacting to wind, things that most text-to-video tools still simplify. Where Kling really shines is in cinematic sequences and stylized storytelling. It's ideal for concept reels, music videos, or social media visuals that need a wow factor. You can guide it with prompts like slow motion shot of a dancer in golden light, or sci-fi city viewed from above, and the results are often breathtaking. However, Kling doesn't handle audio natively. You'll need to add voice or sound in post-production, and like most AI models focused on visual fidelity, it can take some experimenting to get consistent character looks between shots. Still, if you're chasing that filmic look, Kling is one of the best tools available right now, especially if paired with a platform like Magic Hour to enhance and unify the final output. Number four. Runway, the editor's playground. Runway is a bit different. It's not just a video generator, but a full AI-powered editing suite. Runway lets you generate, edit, and composite clips all within one platform. Its latest model, Gen3 Alpha, creates high-quality clips from text or still images, while tools like inpainting and background replacement let you fine-tune your shots. It's especially popular among creators who already have footage and want to add AI-assisted effects, transitions, or stylistic adjustments. For instance, you can start with a live-action clip and ask Runway to make it look like watercolor animation or extend the scene beyond its original frame using the Expand feature. Runway's biggest advantage is its flexibility. You can combine generative AI with hands-on editing, which makes it perfect for creators who want control rather than a simple generate button. The free plan gives you enough to experiment with, though export resolution is capped. But even then, Runway remains one of the most accessible all-in-one AI video platforms for professionals and beginners alike. Number five, 
Magic Hour, style meets control. Now let's talk about the tool that's quickly becoming my personal favorite. Magic Hour, you can check it out at magichour.ai, is all about what most AI tools still miss, consistent visual style and cinematic coherence. Think of it as your post-production layer for AI videos. You can import clips from tools like Sora, Vio, or Kling, then use Magic Hour to restyle, relight, and color grade everything into one cohesive look. Now this is a huge deal because even the best AI generated clips often look mismatched. One has harsh lighting, another looks too flat, another too saturated. Magic Hour solves that by giving you control over tone, lighting, and color balance. All powered by AI, but guided by your creative direction. You can transform a bright daylight shot into a moody sunset scene, or give your entire short film a soft, dreamlike look all without needing complex color grading skills. Even on the free plan, you get a real sense of authorship. The AI doesn't override your creativity, it amplifies it. And that's why Magic Hour stands out. It's not just about generating visuals, it's about crafting them. Okay, so which tool should you actually use? Now, with all these options, you might be wondering, do you really need all five? And the short answer is not at all. You can create incredible results using just one or two. For instance, you might start by generating raw clips in Sora or Vio, then bring them into Magic Hour to refine the look and atmosphere. That's where your video really comes alive. Magic Hour helps you relight, restyle, and unify footage so it feels polished and cinematic, like a real film rather than disconnected AI clips. So if you're just getting into AI video creation, focus on one generation tool that matches your workflow and let Magic Hour handle the finishing touches that make your video stand out. Okay, so final thoughts. We're at a turning point in filmmaking where you don't need a full crew or expensive equipment to bring your ideas to life. If you just want to explore what's possible, start with tools like Sora or Vio. But if you want your videos to feel cohesive, expressive, and uniquely yours, that's where Magic Hour really shines. Because in the end, it's not about using every AI tool out there. It's about choosing the ones that help you create your vision faster and with more freedom. So, which of these tools are are you most excited to try? Drop a comment below and if you want more breakdowns of new AI video tools and trends, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching and as always, make something beautiful today.